hi people you welcome back to my channel today i am going to be showing you how to prepare some wonderful recipes so i am going to be preparing edikai corn soup i have here sliced pumpkin leaf this is a very rich leaf that gives blood in the body and very nice you know if you're having shortage of blood you can squeeze this and drink it and at the same time you can cook this and eat it i also have here my dried catfish which i'm also going to be putting in the soup i have a chopped onions and i also have here blended pepper also here salt and I also have here water leaf. So this water leaf, I have just put it on the fire to parboil it. Now I'll be adding. Now I'll be adding. You can see that it's steamed. You can see that it's steamed. So I'll be adding my dry fish inside the pot i'll also add here fresh pepper i'll add salt to taste pinch of salt i'll cover the pots and still allow this to steam very well so now so since i've put this i will have to stir this pot very well so that the mixture the taste of the salt will enter into the water leave very well this is a dikai kong soup so this your water leaf has to be well cooked and you allow the water to get dried you can see that the pot itself is dried now now i can now add palm oil maggi and now add the little quantity of water i will be needing very little quantity so enjoy watching this video and if this is your first time in my channel please don't fail to subscribe to my channel so now you can see that without even adding water you can see water generating from the bottom of the pot so with this now, you will know the quantity of water to add inside your soup. So I, I have just one cup of water which I will be adding inside the pot. Allow this to steam very well, to heat everywhere before pouring in my palm oil inside the pot. You can see that the leaves are fresh. And by the time it boils out and I add the palm oil, I'll be pouring in the vegetable leaf inside the pot. Like I told you, this is Ukeme TV, a TV that teaches you how to cook wonderful recipes at home for events, for occasions, and whatsoever you want to do. Enjoy watching this channel and please don't fail to tap the bell for notification of new videos on how to prepare nice recipes so i'll cover the pot and allow this to steam for some time you can see the water generating more so you have to allow this steam very well now now it's time for me to add palm oil inside the pot So I have here palm oil which I'm going to be adding inside the pot. The kai kong is a soup that 
in most events is being prepared in occasions is being prepared in occasions in it is being prepared people love it very well you can see the leaf being fresh so after this is steamed for just few minutes let's say two minutes i'll be adding in the pumpkin leaf you can see so you can see the soup boiling now i'll have to add no cube one sachet of no cube one cube of no cube inside the soup so i'll stir the pots and now it's time for me to pour in the pumpkin leaf inside the pot you know, I told you the Kai Kong soup is a very special soup prepared for events and occasion. So here now, it's time for me to pour in the pumpkin leaf inside the pot. Now finally it's for me to add the chopped onion sprinkle it at the top cover the pot and allow this heat this onions is to give the vegetable soup a nice and wonderful aroma makes the soup inviting and you know when you perceive it you know that yes your dikai kong soup is inviting so guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this recipe just to cover it for just one minute and I'll come back and open it and stir the pots together. Yeah, so we'll be stirring the pots now. Yeah, you can see how lovely this soup face is. You can see also how fresh the leaves are. This is how to prepare a wonderful aquarium soup. And you can see how thickened the soup is. Not watery. This is all about the vegetable leaf known as pumpkin leaf. The water leaf also mixed together to give you the kaikon soup mixed together to give you a dikai console so i so guys i hope you enjoyed this this is how to prepare your wonderful dikai console So guys, here the Edikai Kong soup is ready and this is delicious, tasty. You can use this in eating your fufu. You can also use it to eat gari, semo, wheat or even starch. So this is how to prepare your wonderful Edikai Kong recipe. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys in my next video. Bye.